Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag SP.NET Core MVC Tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to publish and deploy ASP.NET Core MVC application in Windows IIS. We have a tutorial link and uh, there is a heritage step by step guide to publish and deploy the ASP.NET Core MVC application in IIS. And I am going to open the tutorial link. All the documentation you will find on this link. So here is step by step guide to publish and deploy the ASP.NET Core MVC application in IIS. Prepare your environment. So go your control panel program stand windows features on and off. So go to your control panel. Go to the programs and features. Windows features turn on turn off. So here just check with the features so i am going to and use there is a is service web management tool so check all the things required and uh, there is application development features uh, i am just or sp.net cgi cgi whatever the you required you can install just look at this so i am using all Go to the common HTTP. Here I am using default document only. Health and diagnostic, HTTP logging, performance, static content, and security. I am using the request filtering and URL authorization, Windows authentication as per your uh, requirement. You can uh, enable all the things. Okay. So I already done. Then click on yes. Then there is will there will be the next and just install. So select the IS ensure web management tool and worldwide web services are checked. Click OK to install and next install .NET hosting bundle. So download the latest ASP.NET hosting bundle or appropriate version of the .NET framework for the your application from Microsoft website. So this is the Microsoft website. Check, copy the link and just check. So I am going to download .NET 9.0. So there is a hosting SDK, hosting uh, build apps SDK, software development kit. kit. So I am going to install this one. So as per your system, you can download this just like my, I'm using the Windows system. So just click on the Windows installer, 64 bit installer. So you can able to download. And after that, just download a core runtime. So here I'm using 64 bit and hosting bundle. Two things I'm going to download here. And last .NET uh, runtime 9.0. Zero. So just click here 64 bit. So I'm downloading all after downloading and install just uh, easily you can install after that you, you go to your control panel and you can able to see it will looks like this. So SDK is there hosting is there set uh, framework is there and runtime is there. So all the four things I am downloaded and installed on my system. So I have given the link also. So one by one link just like SDK download this one this will looks like this and I'm downloading x64 bit and this one runtime and there is a hosting bundle and this one SDK. Okay after downloading that installing after install the control panel it will looks like the below. Now install it in, in the IS server. Check the IS, IS configuration. So publish the ASP.NET Core MVC application. Open your project in Visual Studio. So already open and this one is a running project. So let me start this project. Let me test.
okay this is running i'm using the product card so click on the products so you can able to see there is a products table is there and products de detail will be there i'm going to add a new product just uh, just for checking everything is working or not in previous video you can able to check so i'm uh, just writing my product to description to and price one two three so click on create so you can able to see the second product is added here now i'm going to add a, edit this one and changing the price to something else so 1100 so you can able you can check that this is working and i'm just connecting with the database so let me check uh, connect with the database in previous video we have done this one cut code db okay so after deleting this one just now i'm going to delete this and check into your database so this is removed so my pro uh, project is working now now i'm going to do going to publish my pro, uh, project so right click on your project just click on the publish and uh, if you are using the same profile then okay i'm deleting this profile i'm using the uh, publish profile so add click on add go to the folder next browse this one so i'm creating one folder in my d drive d drive project inside that i'm just going to create one folder so product card publish i have created for product card publish we don't have any data now let me roll uh, locate that folder so go to the my uh, this pc application there is a project inside the project product cut publish so click on ok click on finish so ready to publish now click on the publish in right side top started building and you can able to check the files are added there this page so publish completed successfully now i am going to deploy this one in is so i am opening inet mgr internet explore uh, internet information services manager expand this i am creating the application pool for this product secret product card So I've created the product card. Now I'm going to, if you want to adding the web uh, domain, then you right click on the your site and then add website. I'm just going, uh, going to run with the my IP address and local host. So go to your default website, right click on that, add application, give the application name, products, card, and application pool product card and physical path so physical path will be this i'm going to copy and paste this one or you can browse from here also okay. just click on ok so this part is done now let me open this one right click on your website name and just Go to the manage application and browse. So this first page is open. Just click on products. So there is a error occur while processing your request. So in development mode, swapping the development environment will more details about in this. So I know the problem. 
so i'm directly going to that so let me check with the my database configuration i'm changing my database configuration let me open this there is a database configuration i have written there same configuration Default configuration. Let me check. We have to up to this connection. Okay. So the copy and paste. So there is a data source, local host, initial catalog, my database name, cut code DB. Just go to your database and check cut code DB. The same indicated security false. A trust service certificate true and user id sa password is admin at the right one two three so just save this one is is reset reset your service then just refresh your page so it's working okay we got the product now i'm going to add one product my product new okay description new and price triple three just click on create so you, you can see there the data is created there and in database also you can check execute this one data is inserted to your database so if you want to delete then you can delete so this part is done so step by step process is given there in this video we have learned how to publish and deploy sp.net core mbc application in windows is and step by step is all, everything is given there and uh, for any doubts and query please write on the youtube video comment section follow the process shown in the video please subscribe and like for more videos don't forget to follow like share and comment hope this will help thank you for watching